Peace. This is a meat and potato source of production starring myself, the Ward Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is exposing Satan's underground. Let Mentor take you back. The year is 1989. The talk show was Geraldo. The topic was exposing Satanism. The year, 1989. And we've got to remember something. The 80s was a time of what is egregiously known as the satanic panic. So, Geraldo was doing a show about Satanism and ritual sacrifice. And of course, we all know this is also the time where you had another show, Morton Downey Jr. So this was a time of sensationalism, not credible journalism. So Zena LaFay was on there. For those who don't know, Zena LaFay is the younger daughter of Anton LaFay, who was the founder of the Church of Satan in 1966. So herself, along with Aquino, were on there and they were defending Satanism. And Michael Aquino has some interesting things to say, is that he talked about accountability and how those who are really proponents of Satanism or Luciferianism, they have to be responsible for themselves. In other words, ain't no God coming out the sky to save you. Now, who was the other opponent? Because we got to remember something. Talk shows then, talk shows now. They're always going to have what I call the baby face and the heel. Queen O was supposed to be the heel. And they had an FBI agent on there named Ted Gunterson. And for those that don't know, Queen O made his transition September the 1st, 2019. And they were talking to people, talking about, there was one person, Rose Allen, and they were like, well, how do you know, you know, this was a satanic ritual? Well, look, the, the organs been cut out and the blood has been drained and all that. And uh, again, a lot of people don't understand true Luciferians. You'd be surprised. A lot of them are school teachers, professors. Some of them are blue collar workers, but you can have someone that's demented or evil and that that works both ways yes you do have some people that can be on this path and they call themselves edgy and i don't know too much and rice or 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 whatever but that works like that in the christian community don't believe me do you know that you have people that are taking brides as young as nine and ten and they're christians i remember there was a so-called Hebrew Israelite that said everything in the Bible is true. And his justification for molestation or child touching was, well, the Bible says, or, you know, it, they can be as young as nine or 10. And even Blavatsky, she, she was horrified when she saw a grown man with his 11 year old bride. Let that sink in. And I want to say this. Now, there was an incident that happened on the Presidio. Now, this is true, and it was linked to Lilith Aquino and Michael Aquino. And they were talking about certain things, rituals that were going on with children. Here's why I believe it was true, because none of these children knew each other. They were in different states. So we got we to gotta point certain things out. We got to unpack this now. And the thing, like I said, when everything is all said and done, there were a lot of things that were going on. But one thing about true Luciferianism or Satanism, Satanism is more hedonistic. Luciferianism deals with Gnosis. So that's the difference. Yes, they have similarities, but I just gave you the differences right there. So the Satanic Panic, that was in the 80s. Is it coming back? It's absolutely coming back. And who's going to help it come back is a lot of sad individuals living in their mother's basement. And they're going to bring it back in true fashion, unfortunately. And I want to say something, too. A lot of your fears, even if you try to suppress them, they're going to come out 
in your dreams, especially when you use alcohol. Because remember, alcohol is a downer. So all those fears you have, they're going to become more pronounced. But again, on that show, they were talking to people and a lot of people revved up and they had people in the audience and they're just charged. And Michael Aquino also was on Oprah Winfrey show. But when they were talking about some things and Michael Aquino was acquitted, but they were making all these accusations and Michael Aquino said, whoever would do something to a child or do certain things of this horrific nature, why don't you find them, arrest them and prosecute them? And even Geraldo didn't have no comeback. So again, if you are seen as a villain, no matter how polished you are, no matter your credentials or whatever, it is what it is. And I think after the show, if I'm not mistaken, Aquino was a lieutenant colonel. After that, mm -mm, he didn't he he did not go up <laughs> no more in stature. So again, the satanic underground, if you want it, is broken up into excerpts. You can find it via social media and again that was with the Geraldo Rivera show so with that that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day I am the water alchemist be water my friends peace